Vlogmas day one. The day has come. I'm going to light up the candle that I made. Mrs. Claus made by Lindsay H. I've literally been waiting for Vlogmas to light it up because I know I'm gonna burn through this pretty quickly, but I'm gonna try to make it last because it smells so good. It smells like snowy Christmas tree. Like, I can't remember what scents I put in, but you know she's officially kicking off Vlogmas when she lights a new candle. Cold enough to make you shiver, but not cold enough to snow. Cold enough to know it's winter, perfect time to say a first hello. Why is it so hard to cut in everything bagel? Like, can we talk about the drama and the mess? Scarves and sweaters bundled up in cotton Knowing names that wouldn't be forgotten Laughing over our own sense of humor Underneath the Christmas lights that It's true you guys, it is that time of year again. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Do me a favor and if you're excited for Vlogmas this year, give this video a like Give it a thumbs up because it just helps me out when you guys like my videos you comment you interact with my videos it's really hard nowadays on youtube to like get your videos seen to be honest so that would be amazing if you guys could do that for me but i'm in my vlogmas pajamas you guys are gonna see so much let me stand up to give you the full moment Ta -da! aren't these so freaking cute with the little boxer shorts i got these from airy hadn't been to airy in years honestly and they kind of slayed. I picked these up for Vlogmas and just the season this year. I love them. You're gonna be seeing so much of this. I'm probably gonna wear this like almost every day and every night. I'll link these down below for Mary if anyone is trying to be matching this month. So I wanted to do a little brief chat to kind of talk about what I'm up to today and just some vlogmas things off the bat, I guess. So it's November 30th actually. It's the last day of November. For the past three years, I think, I started my vlogmas the day before so i could post it on december 1st a lot of people start on december 1st and post on the second i just do this because it makes it so i can have one more video for you guys for the month because i post every other day in vlogmas so the odd days of the month is when there will be a new vlogmas video but we're fully in the holiday spirit over here it's all decorated in here if you guys happen to have missed my last vlog um i only uploaded it like a day and a half before this video so some of you guys might have missed it because it just wasn't up for that long go check it out it was my decorate with me video so my plan for today is i need to go upstairs and take a shower do my hair, we're a little greasy. We're gonna get ready, do a little fake tan. And then I'm gonna go around a couple errands. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Um, of course, I'll do a grocery haul with you guys. It's been a little while, so we definitely need some stuff. And then I have to pack up a couple of Depop orders and go to the post office and also open a new P.O. box. Later this afternoon, I'm gonna go to a quick Pilates class. And then after that, I don't really have anything. I'm probably just gonna like chill tonight, maybe make some dinner with Jared. So that's my Wednesday plan. Also, I wanna show you guys my homemade iced candy cane peppermint latte that I've been teasing a little bit on Instagram. So I think I'm gonna have mine after my shower cause I'm not quite in the mood yet. All right, it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great month. I am so excited to just be hanging out with you guys all month. I'm gonna go take my shower and get a little bit more cute and get ready for this day. <music> shower i'm gonna dry my hair in a little bit but i wanted to make my drink with you guys and i'm so excited to share this so i mean it is like simple when you see it you'll be like okay that's nothing crazy but it's just so cute so tasty and so perfect for the holiday season if you like coffee some crumbs from my bagel still here if you like coffee and if you like peppermint you will like this so i'm gonna go over like what you need 
Um, you do have to have an espresso machine to make this or fresh espresso. That's just kind of like all my coffee drinks because I have an espresso machine, so that's what I use for everything. If you don't have one, you probably can't make this the same way. Maybe you could use like iced coffee or something and make something similar. You could also make this hot. I did that the other day, but I do think I prefer it iced. It's just like with the peppermint, it feels really right. First thing is espresso beans. I just get mine in bulk from the grocery store. Milk of your choice, you guys know I use oat milk, but the creamier the better I would say just for like any coffee drink in general and here's the star of the show homemade peppermint simple syrup sounds maybe kind of complicated but it's so easy so let me tell you guys what I was trying to do before okay so I wanted to make my drinks pepperminty so I bought pure peppermint extract okay but this on its own is so so powerful in flavor like you literally will use one drop of this. I would put one drop, a single drop of this into like a coffee this big and it would just be overpoweringly peppermint, like too much. So I figured I'm probably doing this wrong. This is probably not the same thing as peppermint syrup. So I just Googled it and I found a really simple recipe. All you need is sugar, water, and pure peppermint extract. I, I definitely learned my lesson. I did it a few times and ruined a few coffees. It's super easy to make this. I'll link the recipe down below. You literally just like put on the stove, sugar and water equal parts. And then you add like, I think a teaspoon of the peppermint oil. I was even scared to add that much, but trust me with it being on the heat, it kind of like cooks it down. The heat like does something to the flavor and it's not as crazy strong. And then from there, I just put it in a little container. I have a little bit more in my fridge too. Now, as far as how much you wanna use, one to two teaspoons or tablespoons, it just kind of depends on like how sweet and how peppermint you like it. I've been using around like teaspoon or two teaspoons. I don't know. It's just what I feel like on the day. This is optional, but if you wanna add like a mocha chocolatey moment, I've been using my Miss Remy Ashton Nut Pods in the classic chocolate flavor, but I don't always use this. It's just when I want it, like a little bit of that like peppermint mocha flavor from Starbucks, I'll use like a tablespoon of this. So I'm gonna do that today. Last thing, this is optional, but it really adds a little moment to the top. Some red sprinkles. I didn't even buy these, I just had these. I don't know what the heck I had them for in my pantry. Betty Crocker red sugar sprinkles. Trust me, on top of the foam at the end, like you want to dust these. This is what gives it like the candy cane name, okay? So let's make it. All right, I'm gonna take my milk frother. This, I would recommend using one, like if you have one, if you, don't you could still make this it's just not gonna get the foam but I'm gonna go in with my oat milk and I usually just up, do like up to the first line and then I'm gonna take my peppermint syrup I'm probably gonna use two teaspoons today because I'm a little sweet a little pepperminty one to three teaspoons of it is probably good so just make this like the day before or the day of and let it cool and sit in your fridge and you will have it the whole month of December for your coffee. All right, now I'm gonna put the lid on this and I'm gonna do a cold froth. I know I've talked about my milk frother before, but I have the Keurig one and it is amazing. It does a hot and a cold froth. I'll link it down below if any of you guys wanna like ask for that for Christmas this year or treat yourself because it is such a game changer. It makes coffee so much more fun. And then I just set up my espresso machine and I'm going to brew a double shot of espresso. So either one shot or two shots, just depending on how strong you like your coffee. Okay, we've got our espresso brewed and now I'm going to take my glass and fill it up with a little bit of ice. I've been really enjoying serving it in a clear, a completely clear glass because you can see the layers and the beauty and it's just like, I definitely recommend a clear, gorgeous glass. I'm using this mug, she is iconic. Okay, I'm first gonna add a little bit of my nut pods to give it a little bit of that chocolatey mocha flavor. Completely optional. Yesterday and like the first day I made this, I didn't use this and it was still so delicious. So don't feel like you have to use that. Now we're gonna add our espresso. Yum. I'm gonna give it like a little stir just so the nut pods doesn't all sit at the bottom. And of course, going in with our foamy milk. This is the absolute best part. What's gonna give you, oh my gosh, those gorgeous, gorgeous, fluffy, pepperminty layers. 
Okay, and now comes the best part. We're gonna do the red sprinkles on top. You totally don't have to do this, but it is like such a moment. It adds so much and makes it really that like candy cane latte feel. Guys, I mean, are you seeing this? It's so beautiful, especially in the clear glass. Like, it's perfect. Bring her over to the tree. All right, so that's how you make it. It's easier than I even explained it, honestly. Once you make it, if you make it, please tell me, leave a comment down below. And now, of course, we have to do a taste test of today's creation. Mmm. Okay, perfectly minty today. It is more minty than I've had it the past few days, and I really like it that way. So I would say use like two to three teaspoons of that syrup, just depending on how sweet you like it. Save yourself a trip to Starbucks, even though I do love a good Starbucks holiday drink, of course, but this is so fun to make at home. I haven't gone to Starbucks in like five days since I started making this, okay, you guys? Like, it's a game changer. My hair is looking a little poofy and frizzy, so we're gonna go blow dry this out, and I'm gonna get dressed. All right, outfit of the day next to the tree. I'm finally getting out to run my errands. I feel like I always, like I'll be in the shower and I'll be like, I wanna leave. Like literally today my goal was leave at 1.45. It's, it's like three o'clock now because I had to walk Squirtle. I don't even know what took me so long getting dressed. I'm like, what else did I even, oh, I packed up the Depop orders. I don't know. It's fine though. Like the only thing I have is my Pilates class at 5.30. But I know my errands aren't gonna take that long. Grocery shopping, going to the post office will probably take me like an hour and a half, which is perfect. But anyway, I feel cute about my little outfit of the day. I got this sweater in my newly box this month. So you guys will be seeing a lot of new newly stuff because I got my box like two days ago. So I haven't, I don't even know if I've worn anything from it yet, but this little sweater, um, I'll put the brand on the screen because I never know <laughs> really what it is. And then I have a little white turtleneck underneath. That's how the model styled it in the pictures. She just wore a white turtleneck and then did like three buttons open. And I think it looks really cute. And then the pants, these have been like my favorite pants since I got them. They're from Aritzia. They have these like sneaky little pockets and they're just like cute and something different than jeans. I don't know. And then shoes, we have on just some Uggs because it's freezing out and it's a little wet out. So that's what we got on today. When you're trying to grocery shop, you find them. <laughs> I had to. I've never seen them at my Winco before, so I'm purchasing. Look at her. Look at her. All right, guys, my hair got a little crazy because it is so freaking windy today. Like, <laughs> I think I got a little tangled from the wind, you know, when that happens. But I am heading back home. It's getting dark and it's 4.48. <laughs> I went to two stores. I thought about going to Trader Joe's, but I just went to Albertsons instead after Winco because I needed like, and I am actually really glad I ended up going there because I went to like the big, the huge one and they have like gifts and they have like a whole little market basically in there. I don't know, just so much cute stuff. So I ended up getting a candle for Jared's stepmom. Um, as part of her Christmas gift. I just wanna like pick up little things while I'm out this month because I still do have a good amount of gifts to get for people. I've probably done about half my shopping and I've done like the main things, but there's definitely more. I mean, it's only November 30th, but I would like to get it all done hopefully by like December 10th because then I need to start worrying about like shipping my brother, sister, parents, anyone else, maybe their Christmas presents and stuff, so. The earlier the better but i have been listening to some podcasts today a lot of podcasts actually uh well i feel like i listened to something before i listened to pretty basic but i don't remember maybe i was just listening to music but i listened to the newest episode of pretty basic i've been keeping up with it regularly like pretty much like i feel like i want i feel like i listen to like three out of four episodes a month like at least two two or three and now i'm listening to the sesh with kendall ray and janelle and i've this has been like my favorite podcast lately i don't know why it like took me a while to get into it i just have my like specific podcast that i follow and not that i don't look up new ones like i do but it's rare for me to like get into a new one some 
sometimes I'll listen to like one or two episodes of something but I really like this one and they're just great and I really want to meet them in person sometime I feel like it could happen like maybe next time I go to Denver or something I'm gonna hit them up I know that they know me and I know them and it's like we're you know we know each other but we've never met or anything but I definitely recommend the sesh it's really interesting they kind of just talk about like current events that I feel like are always relevant to stuff that I've heard of or whatever and then they just talk about like their lives and fun stuff and I don't know it's just like a casual podcast that it's not too deep I guess you could say but in a good way where it's just like you can listen to it kind of in any mood that you're in I don't know so I'm about to be home we're gonna try and do a really speedy grocery unload and haul I got some good stuff I got some really pretty flowers today you guys there was this beautiful like pre-made bouquet usually I'm not a huge fan of the pre-made bouquets but this one I'm gonna show it to you guys it's so beautiful and I wanted to get some like white flowers to have in a vase for vlogmas just to like celebrate and kick it off and stuff I just saw a Mississippi license plate I don't know if I've ever seen one before you know when you see a license plate that usually I have no memory of that like let me know if there's any license plate that you guys think you've never seen some of the ones that I really like that are a little more rare I don't know I guess you could say I love the New Mexico one and the Arizona one the New Mexico one is such a cool one um I see the North and South Dakota ones here a pretty good amount I feel like the Mississippi one was so freaking random though like I don't know is it weird that I'm talking about that have you guys ever seen an Idaho license plate comment down below and let me know <laughs> it's like red white and blue it's kind of ugly actually like it I have a special one that's like a little bit cuter, but it's pretty ugly, I'm not gonna lie. It's not one of those license plates that you look up, you look at and you're like, that's cute, you know? It's kind of one that you're like, mm, that could use some work. All right guys, it's grocery haul time. You may notice a little friend and another little friend back there. That one's a surprise for somebody, but this one's for me. Squirt all, he always digs in the grocery bags after like, did he remember to get me any chicken or anything? I've never seen these at my Winco, and so I freaked out. They had like holiday ones, and then this one, which I don't know if this is a holiday one. Maybe it is, because like all the other ones they had were holiday, but I just had to get it, because the pink cow print, oh my gosh. I mean, I guess it's literally a strawberry milk. I'm not a fan of strawberry milk, but she's so cute, so who cares? She's literally adorable. Her name's Ameline, Amelie, I think that's how you say it, but I might change her name, I'm not obsessed but I did get this for myself. All right, let's do this. We were out of literally all of our produce, so there's a ton in here. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> some Parmesan, some ginger beer. This I don't usually buy, but I wanna make this like, I think it's like a cranberry spiced Moscow mule that I saw a recipe for, and so I needed some ginger beer. Here are the flowers I was talking about. Look how beautiful they are. Like. I love these colors in here. I hope these last at least like, ugh, at least almost a week because I feel like, I feel like flowers that are already mixed, like they keep them out for a few days so they don't always last as long. I tried to get the ones that had like the smallest roses so they would bloom more, but some of it honestly already looks a little dead. But hopefully once I get in some good water, she will be gorgeous. I loved that. This is something I, wanted to like tell you guys about that I have discovered for cooking and oh my gosh I love it I had to get two of them it's the silk dairy-free heavy whipping cream just feel like I always use this especially like Thanksgiving we were using so much heavy cream and this one tastes really good it's thick but it doesn't have any dairy so I grabbed two because I have not been able to find it at my Albertson so I went to a different one today specifically so I could try and find this so I stocked up on too, but it's definitely very good. Like I use it for pastas, you can use it in coffee, you can use it just cooking anything that calls for normal heavy cream. I got some butter lettuce. This has been like my favorite lettuce lately. I don't know why. I've just been in like a butter lettuce phase. Some butter, some non-dairy Ben and Jerry's fish food flavor. These were like an impulse because I saw honey butter. And I decided I needed to try the Grand's honey butter. I don't know when we'll make these, but sometime for a dinner. I mean, they'd be good for like breakfast too, like a little biscuit. Um, some eggs, some chicken. I got a different oat milk because the one I usually get, the Chobani Extra Creamy, was 
over seven dollars which i'm like this is not like what is going on with america that's not normal so i said i'll that one's usually on sale so i just got another one that was on sale the oat the silk oat and that's totally fine because i've tried this one and i like it um i got some grapefruit juice for jared and then i got some wines i've never tried the prosecco from josh and i buy the josh wine sometimes and i like it so i figured i'd give it a go and then a pinot grigio and this california conundrum wine which i still have some in the fridge but i've been really liking it so i decided to get another one of those that is pretty good i think that's everything from over here over here is more of my snacks and like pantry staples and then a random pie cutter because i've realized for so long that we don't have like a pie or cake thingy like this so i got one for us some onion bagels and like the bubba's ones i'm gonna buy them from the store then i got a cream of chicken soup because it was on sale and i used that to make the hash brown casserole and i'm sure we'll be baking it again sometime soon so always good to have an impulse buy again some ruffles jalapeno ranch i don't know if i've ever tried this flavor and they looked so good these i really like for chili the lightly salted fritos are so good to sprinkle on chili so i got them for that what else uh the bulk section i got a bunch of spices to fill up my spice jars again i need to find like i have bigger bags but they're not really good for spices like that zip i need to find some tiny ones that are reusable that have little zippers because those would be really good to use in the bulk section so maybe i'll try to order some of those but anyway i got garlic powder sesame seeds peppercorns and red pepper flakes all those are super cheap in the bulk section and i just fill up like the spice jars that i already have for those squeaking squeaking for dinner or something um, this was my snack haul. I got Milano's. I got Ritz Bits, Pepper Jack Cheez-Its, Wheat Thins to have for cheese and crackers and hummus and crackers. What else? We have Tabasco. That's for Jared mostly. Some creamy peanut butter. I never tried this brand before. They didn't have the one that I usually get. We're completely out. So try this. And lastly, I keep these in my car some little tissue packs so i restocked up on those i think that's it and it's 506 so i have just enough time to change for pilates i might not have time to show you guys what i'm wearing but that's where i'm headed today we're doing an arms and abs class which i try to do one of those a week and then every other week i've been trying to do another class that's not just the arms and abs um, which are a lot harder in my opinion i do really like the arms and abs so i try to do that at least once a week if i can so that's what tonight is. All right, let's get ready. All right, guys, I'm back from Pilates. It was pretty good class tonight. I'm so freaking tired. I feel like I haven't been able to wake up all day. I don't know why. I feel like I definitely got good sleep last night, so I don't know. Even the coffee did not really save me this afternoon. I've been so sleepy all day, but I don't know. Maybe it's just like a dreary day, cloudy winter day thing. I think that definitely is part of it. But anyway, I have my advent calendar and I'm going to fill it up. Um, I'm not going to do the wine advent calendar this year just because, well, there's a couple of reasons. I have a lot left over. I don't know if you guys can even see it. I actually have probably even more than that left over from the past two years of all the reds that I didn't drink. And I still, just after all these years, like I know myself and I'm not going to drink the reds. So I didn't want to order another wine advent calendar knowing that half of all of them are reds. I couldn't find one that was all white. Um, I searched high and low. If, I mean, it's a little late now, but if anyone does know of any advent calendars that are all white wines, that would be great. I really tried to find one, but I just found like a mix. And yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to drink the reds. So I will still be drinking wine and I will still do my occasional pour it up moment i'm not gonna do it like every vlog but i'm gonna do it like i'm gonna do little surprises with it i'm gonna go back to my trusty chocolate advent calendar here we're gonna start opening it tomorrow because tomorrow is actually december 1st so i'm gonna vlog tomorrow for the next um episode of vlogmas so we'll open her then but i am gonna put my chocolates in it really quick i these are my favorite like chocolate of all time the milk chocolate truffles from lindor oh, they're so freaking good but this i think is like 12 so i got some dark ones too because i also like these 
so to just switch it up. And this should be enough to fill my, oh, there's 25. I thought there was 24. Well, we might be one short, which is a flop. I'm gonna fill this up really quick and then we're gonna start making dinner. There was exactly 24, so I'm gonna put two Hershey Kisses in for day 25 because obviously we need to have a treat on Christmas Day as well. So we will start opening this tomorrow. I'm very excited. I wish I could eat one now, but I'm gonna wait. I put on my Vlogmas merch, my Miss Remy Ashton Vlogmas merch from last year. I actually got this from Megan, like pretty close to Christmas last year. It was like part of one of my gifts. So I didn't really get to wear it that much because it was like only a few more days of Vlogmas last year. And you know, gotta be in the moment. Like you gotta be in the Vlogmas spirit to kind of wear it. So I'm bringing it back and you'll probably see it a lot this month. Just get ready to see these and the, my Vlogmas pajamas a lot this month. And I might end up putting this part of the vlog in a little bit earlier, like a little sooner in the vlog because I want more people to, um see it because I'm doing a little giveaway um, in partnership with Rakuten. So they're not like sponsoring this video, but they are hosting the giveaway. So in partnership with them, I'm giving away a $100 prize. So there are a few rules if you guys want to enter, but I just wanted to do this to say thank you guys um, and just to like, kick off Vlogmas. And I know I've done giveaways, like I think I've done one giveaway with them before a few years ago. So I wanted to do another one. And also this could help you guys with your holiday shopping. If you're doing any holiday shopping on Online because Rakuten is a free cash back service. I use the browser extension on my Google Chrome and so it basically pops up on my phone or on my computer whenever I'm shopping online to give me cash back. I just got 15% cash back on an order I did on Cyber Monday, which was crazy. So it's just like, if you are already shopping, you're gonna get cash back for that shopping. It's a completely free service to use. You do not have to pay any money to sign up for an account. So I'll have the link down below at the top of the description box to go and enter. Um, I did wanna say like a couple of rules and things off top. If you guys already have an account that you've registered with me, um, cause I did do a giveaway with them a few years ago, you can still enter this giveaway. And any new people, of course, that haven't registered before can go and register and you'll be entered in the giveaway as long as you enter through the link in the description box. Also, it's only available to US and Canada just because that's where their service is available. So I'm sorry to anyone that is more international, but it is just gonna be for US and Canada this time. The only other rules are just you have to like this YouTube video and be subscribed to my YouTube and follow my Instagram. So if you do all of those things, then you will be entered to win the $100 prize and they're actually gonna be in charge of picking a random giveaway winner from the um, entries. I'll put some info on the screen right now that says how long it's gonna run and when they will announce the winner. So yeah, no pressure to enter if you're not feeling it. If you're like, mm, I wouldn't use a service like that or you just don't feel like entering, then that's totally fine, but it is completely free to enter, free to join if you don't already have an account. And like I said, if you happen to have an account already that you have signed up through me, you can still enter through the link. All right, guys, it's time for a little wine and making some dinner. Pour it up, pour it up. She will come, the moment will come, don't worry. Have to be in the right mood. Okay, so tonight's dinner, it's gonna be a little random because we have some leftovers that I wanna use up, but we're gonna make like a little bit more to add to it because it's not quite that much leftovers. Last night we made a pasta primavera. I'll put in a photo. It was really good, it's simple, but like just did some veggies and noodles, Parmesan cheese. So the leftovers we got are right here, but there's not like that much so we're gonna bulk it up a little bit with some chicken but i'm just gonna cook them in the instant pot with just some like basic oil and seasonings and then i'm going to shred it and add it to the pasta and then i want to try out this i think it would be good in the pasta the rouse sun-dried tomato paste that i showed in my thrive unboxing haul i haven't used it yet and i feel like this would be super good 
with this pasta and then we might serve these we might not we made these um a couple of vlogs ago i guess that was on sunday and it's wednesday these caramelized onion mashed potatoes and they're still going strong and i don't want to wait too long before we finish these off so i might just it's random i wouldn't normally serve pasta and mashed potatoes but we just are trying to kind of use up some leftovers so i'm going to oil and season this chicken you can get it in the instant pot All right guys, so I just used olive oil and I used paprika, black pepper, Italian seasoning, which has a lot of good seasonings and seasoning salt. And I'm using a little brush, but it's honestly not working very well. I think this is better for like a grill moment. <laughs> but I try to get the spices to like stick on there. So I try to like push it in with either like a spoon or a brush usually so they don't just like completely slide off. And I'm just gonna throw these in the Instant Pot so I don't have to like watch it on the, the pan and I can just like do other stuff while it's cooking in there. I just tossed a little more olive oil in my Instant Pot and oh my gosh, she's actually like, I might need to do this last one by itself. Yeah, I'm gonna do the last one after actually. There was three chicken breasts and it's not gonna all fit in there. I have a tiny little Instant Pot so we'll just do this one after. Pressure cook on high for eight to 10 minutes for fresh chicken breast and 10 to 12 for frozen chicken. Okay, I feel good about that. We'll check it at 10 minutes. Hopefully it's good. good i ended up doing nine minutes and i'm going to take its temperature this one's a lot bigger so this one might need to go in a little longer but we're gonna see they look really good though got some good color probably from the paprika i used all right these were all done both um at 165 so might look weird but a chicken shredding hack that i learned way too late in my cooking journey was just putting this attachment on my KitchenAid mixture, dumping it in there, and it shreds it so much faster than I can with my two hands, with a fork, you know what I mean? Get a close-up on my band-aid. Mm. <laughs> Work, boo-boo. All right, here's how it turned out. We're just gonna add a little bit more parm to the top. It looks a little weird, but I feel like it's gonna be good. Okay, I don't even wanna show the full meal. I feel like it looks so bad. I feel like it's like what they would give you at the cafeteria in school. I don't know why it just looks bad. I swear we ate this pasta last night and it looked so much prettier. Adding chicken to it really made it ugly. And just like with the mashed potato on the side, it's just, there's no color. There's no presentation, but it's fine. It's going to be good, okay? I hope. I don't know. I guess I haven't tried it, but this is what it is tonight, guys, okay? Every night can't be gourmet. Well, it's like 8.45 now. I am sleepy already. I've been so sleepy today, like I said, but I think I'm going to start editing this vlog. I have a lot of fun things planned for this month, so I'm like dates with jared and just some like fun christmasy stuff of course that we're gonna do so i'm excited about that and just sharing i cannot believe i don't even know if i said this already in this vlog but it's my 10th year of vlogmas so like 
we're just celebrating hard this year and if there's anything like anything at all that you guys want to specifically see in my vlogmases i would love to know seriously don't hesitate to comment down below and let me know what you would like to see and i will do my absolute best to um share those things i'm gonna go downstairs and start editing this vlog and probably just like watch something relax for the rest of the night come on over <laughs> what are you doing wrapping up your i measured squirtle well guys this is vlogmas i got my slippers on i had an ambiance youtube video Playing while I started editing this vlog. Stockings are hung, if you know what I mean. The tree is glowing. Squirtle is snoozing. What have we been watching lately? 90 Day. 90 Day Fiance. Uh, Happily Ever After. Angela is our favorite character, if anyone knows her iconic work. Angela from Georgia, fellow queen. We've been watching White Lotus, but that only comes out on Sundays. We started MasterChef. Sundays, yes. A new season of MasterChef. True. Old season. Maybe we'll watch that. Oh, yeah. Old A season. very old season. <laughs> new to us, I guess. Good morning, guys. I'm wearing the same thing. No one's surprised. It's Vlogmas Day 2 now, and I wanted to end off this vlog and just say thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like I always end off my vlogs the next day. I don't know why. It's just like what I do. So I'm ending it off the next day. I don't really think you guys care if I end it off the same day. But thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 1. I hope you enjoy. This video is actually a little longer than I thought it would be because I only filmed for one day in this vlog, but most of the vlogs will be over two days so they're gonna be long hopefully that's okay with you guys i mean i guess some days will be shorter than others but they should be even longer than this one so we're starting day two now i hope you guys will be excited to go along for the vlogmas ride with me this month and just thank you so much for watching as always i will see you in two days with another vlogmas video happy vlogmas merry vlogmas i feel like that sounds better merry vlogmas you guys <laughs>